what do we know? It is man-made. It is global. It's the most global problem we have. It is cumulative. All new emissions of greenhouse gases add to the problem. But the problem is the result of the accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution. What have we learned since then? Three points. Firstly, the emissions are increasing in particular now because also there is economic growth in Asia and in Africa. And there will be, and I'm very pleased that there will be economic growth bringing many poor people into middle class people. We want exactly the same lifestyle as people in the US, in Europe, Japan, etc. And those one, one and a half billion new people will add to emissions, number one. Number two, we know that the consequences will be larger than we thought at the time. And many of these consequences have been laid out this morning. And some of those consequences will also imply conflict, violence, war, migration, because there is no possibility for people anymore to live on a number of areas in the world. And number three, we also know, let's face it, it has not been said here today, but the market will not solve the problem. The market is the problem. Form yourself in order day after day to be able to confront the half-truth and the misinformation of those people who still deny that there is climate change to confront also the misinformation and the statements by companies and others who have a commercial or shareholders interest in ongoing climate change. Those who want to continue to drill, those who want to expand mining further and further. And finally, we are living in a world which has become a global market. Uh, that's a fact, you cannot change that anymore. Accept that, make use of it. Globalize the international civil society. Work together with young people, and they are there, in China, in Russia, in India. Create a kind of a global civil society as a countervailing power to transform political decisions. Thank you. <laughs>